All right, y'all, welcome back to the poor shop yard. I'm Ryan, and we're back with old Blue again today. Um, we went out driving it around, put it on the road legally yesterday, got the tag on it. Um, he running good. Old Blue's running like a top. 303,000 miles, got to get the oil changed in him. Running like a top. We drove him to Lancaster yesterday. And uh, went and got new phones. And then we drove him around Paisley. Didn't skip a beat. Runs as smooth as silk. Run like a run like a sewing machine, if I do say so myself. Uh if uh you noticed there, I lost one of my hubcaps yesterday going down the road on the way to Lancaster. We were going down the road and all of a sudden they said, Son, there's something at my feet. What's that at my feet? What's that at my feet? I said, Daddy, it ain't nothing at your feet. And we uh, we got to the phone store and come back and got everything we needed to come back out. And I got in, was going to drive home. I said, well, I'll be damned. Look, Daddy. He said, what, son? I said, lost my hubcap. He said, I told you I heard something a while ago. I thought there was something under my feet. But that ain't no big deal. I'm going to spend about 15 bucks and get a new cap. But all the other three are on. As you see, there's a... That that tire there goes up there on that front. Those the fr two front wheels are off my white truck, and then the other tire that matches her up. These other three, the other ones over there on my white truck. See that one? Both brand new. Front ones off my white truck. Brand new. Back ones off my white truck. Brand new Firestones. Smooth as silk. I'm gonna open the hood. Show you a little bit. I gotta get. I got this window up, guys. Um, I'm gonna have this thing. I'm gonna send this thing to the shop and have brand new regular window regulators put in, so the windows will stay up. And as you can see, I got it up, but it didn't seat all the way. So I gotta do that. Uh, as you can see, this piece right here. This is the most typical part on these trucks. They like to come loose every once in a while. But uh, that one yesterday, no, it was the day before yesterday, uh, after I got, that night I got this window up, had that window halfway down, had the door open, got done with this one, was getting ready to go to bed, shut that door, didn't touch the window, shut that door, then window fell all the way down. And I still ain't got it up yet, but I got the tarp there on the back of my truck, um, until I can uh, get the window fixed. As you can see, we're back inside. I'm going to pop the hood for you. And uh, let's see. I don't got my keys on me in the building. But uh, I've been having some problems with my uh, lights and my, my signal lights and my brake lights. And what it is, is right in here, right under this little cover here, there's a harness. It's about right here in this area. What it is, is after so long it's going to become loose, all I got to do is take this off and just clip it back in there tight. You won't have no more brake problems. Because um, I can't stand the wheel being like that. I like it all the way down where I can see over the steering wheel. But you got to take the ignition switch out. And then, you know, it's a big job. This unscrews, the, the um, tilt wheel thing unscrews. But I'm going to let a professional do that so I don't break nothing. All the speakers work, everything works, as I mentioned in the last videos. Um, see, you playing radio all work. Uh, I got the hood popped. I'll show you inside under the hood. Um, yeah, the grill's a little bit faded, but I can think about replacing the grill and putting a new one in. Again, as you see here, 4.6 liter V8 Triton overhead cam. These are in the, these are in, I mean, there's never, I've never seen a, one of these blow up. Never seen a one of these blow up ever. Now, of course, they can blow up, and you can have problems with them if you don't change your oil and filter every 5,000 miles. And, uh, I'll show you this, too. Now, when I show you, before I show you this, I'm going to go ahead and tell you. There's nothing wrong with this truck. There's no blown head gasket. There's nothing wrong internally. 
What I'm about to show you is the only reason this is is because it's not been driven on the highway up or at higher speeds, 70, 80 miles an hour for long periods of time. And it gets condensation in, build up. Now it might not be there, but it might be. Yep. See? You see that like that? It looks like a milkshake. That does not mean anything bad. It looks bad. And when you first see it, you're going to worry. But I assure you, there's nothing to worry about. That just means we need to take it on the highway up to 75, 85 miles an hour for a couple of hours. And that'll go away. That looks disgusting. But there's nothing wrong internally. This is a brand new motor, brand new crate motor. I just put in about 3,000 miles ago. So there's nothing internally wrong. It just ain't been drove fast enough for long periods of time. And once I, once we put it on the highway for going 70, 80 miles an hour for a couple hours, it'll clear out right up and be back to normal. I do got to change the oil in it. I ain't changed the oil in it yet. I'm going to do that in the next couple weeks, in the next week or so, hopefully. But everything on this truck is perfect. It don't use oil. don't smoke. It don't skip a beat. Again, brand new motor. Ain't a single service light on them dash. Nothing's wrong with this truck. As you can see, I put my Ford tag off my, other, off my old F-150 on there. Looking damn good. Looking real damn good. Shined up the headlights. They were clouded. Uh, we used uh, some off on both of them and on Frankie too. And as you can see, Frankie's been parked and put out to pasture. We won't be using them for quite a while, luckily. And so he's got to have some work done to him. Tune up, things like that. Um, I changed the oil in it before I parked it. But, um, but yeah. Brand new battery. Uh, Got to refill the uh, the washer reservoir is getting low. Got to refill it. But but this thing is perfect. I love this damn truck. I love it. Love it. Love it. Um. You can see this has got the hood padding here for heat, you know. And uh, Frankie ain't got that. Frankie's is gone, but they're the same age. But um, as you can see, the driver's seat's got a little wear in it, but that's normal. You can fix it. Frankie's the same way. Floor mats. I got to vacuum it out again. I just vacuumed it out four or five days ago. Um. But yeah, you got your cigarette lighters and your actual cigarette lighter there. Cup holders there. Cup holders right here. You got your storage here. My old phone. You got your storage up here. Up in the top. Mm. For your uh, garage door opener. And for this is for your uh, glasses. Got your navigation and your temperature here, right there. It all works. The mirrors work. All the vents, AC, heating, all works. Radio, CD player works. Um. <laughs> excuse me. Again, you got your back seat, door panels, and everything. Everything's. Perfectly fine. You got storage back and behind the seats. My shampoo and body wash. Um, that bulb right there I gotta replace. It's burn up. You got cup holders here. My window cleaner. But, that ain't a damn thing. This is a comfortable riding truck. A very comfortable riding truck. I'd run this thing all the way to California and I have no back problems. Much as my back hurts me, this thing is so smooth and comfortable. Yeah, it squeaks a lot, but that's just the shocks. I mean, it's 300,000 miles. What do you expect? Things will wear over time. But, it's a great truck and I have no complaints. 
No complaints. You sure wouldn't find a Toyota with 300,000 miles on it run, right, runs and rides this good. Toyotas are the most unreliable pieces of crap on the road. All Toyotas and Hondas. As you can see, we got a hit here, hit here, no big deal. It's a work truck. We're going to use it as a travel truck. Again, you got your bed liner, you got your uh, bed hooks there for your towing, hauling. It does not have a tow package. As you can see here, there's a spare tire there. The original spare. Big old 8 inch, 8.8 inch rear end. Back tires still got a lot of life in them. And so, I just gotta get two new front tires and to put those back on my white truck. But it's a great truck. As you can see, I got my tool set here. Door panels here. All the windows work again. I just gotta get two new regulators for the front ones. They're about 80 bucks a piece. No big deal. But that's it for today's video, guys. Here on the Ford Shopyard of Old Blue. If you enjoy this content, please go subscribe to the Ford Shopyard. Leave a like and leave a comment. Thank y'all. Bye.